Hi careerist, it's Kimberly Rob Baker, Chief Career Storyteller and Career Branding Coach at ThisLittleBrand.com and I'm here to talk to you today about something super important. It's this itty bitty little gremlin that attacks a lot of us and stops us from doing the work that we're meant to do in the world. I mean, well, I'm talking about like a little virus, right? This gremlin that stops a lot of people, maybe you, from putting your work out into the world, fulfilling your contract here on earth, is the gremlin of perfectionism. We've probably all heard that phrase, perfect is the enemy of done. It is so true. It is like my mantra when I'm stuck in the middle of something and I'm paralyzed by wanting to make it perfect, perfect, perfect before it goes out there. But the problem with that is nothing's ever going to be perfect. We live in a fluid world, ideas change, environments change, and if you look at something that you wrote this morning or yesterday or last year, you're going to find ways to make it better. It's never going to be perfect, so what happens is you then end up holding on to something that is supposed to be out there in the world and something that nobody except for you can put in the world. Only you can launch that company. Only you can write that dissertation. Only you can give that brilliant presentation or create that product or make that successful social justice movement. You have something inside of you that the world needs. So how do you stop that gremlin of perfection from keeping it from the world and keeping it inside of you? Well, I learned a really neat trick from Coach Samantha Bennett this week. She coaches creatives. And uh, one thing she ran into was she found that one of her inner critiques or her inner critics was always grading her. Like she'd be sitting there typing and she'd be hearing like, that was a poor word choice. And she'd keep typing and she'd, well, this really is not a cohesive sentence. You're, I, this, is, this project is a big mess and you're going nowhere. And she kind of felt like, you know, grades were coming out like C, C minus, D, F. <laughs> and this voice actually even followed her in other places of her life. Like it was grading her on her driving and how well she was like grocery shopping. So she thought about it and she thought, well, if this voice is grading me, why don't I aim to get a C? Because a C is what you get if you just show up. Like, you don't have to be extraordinary. Just show up to class, sit in the seat, turn in your assignments. So what does that mean for you? That means write your resume, put a draft of your presentation together, doodle uh, a drawing of your product on a napkin, make that phone call you said you'd make, uh, whatever is that next thing that you need to get out in the world and you've been stuck thinking that it's got to be the perfect time or you have to be perfect or the thing has to be perfect. Just sit in the chair and do it. What happens when you just do it and don't worry about how good it is? You're just coming up, you know, showing up and doing what you're supposed to do, getting that C. Well, for people who are paralyzed by perfectionism, the tendency is that their C is usually an A for other people. So most likely your C level input is an A. And if it is a C, you can get input from, you know, yourself after some time, some clear thinking advisors. You have something that you can modify and work on and up level to the A game in the rare, rare, rare case that it really is a C that you've created. Most likely if you sit down to do that C level work, you're going to end up getting an A grade. So please, don't die with your song inside of you just because you're waiting until you're a perfect singer to sing it. Just sit down, do the work, turn it in, put that magic out there into the world that only you can give.